Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so viewer discretion is advised. We kill shit here. Chaps got the cut Ooh, just went out. Just hit my leg. If I wouldn't have had this traps all messed up, I would already had it in the hole and we would have caught that one. Dang it. Screw that pooch. I didn't see him go that way though. I think he must have went a bank in over here. Probably chilling right there still. Screw that up. We are guaranteed him right here. Pretty much guaranteed right, right here. Maybe I'll get him another one. I might come in here. Find my hole. Right here. You don't have to use your hands like I am. But I guarantee myself I'm going to be in that hole that I want to be in. I just put my... Now. That turns. And them rats are running. We... Well, there's a high water one right there. So we got one that come out of that hole 100 mile an hour. So we need to go find this run. Where it narrows down the most. Which, honestly, it's pretty deep. Be easier said than done. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got grass there. There's our we got grass right here. Right here's grass. I can feel that waller right there where they run on the bottom. Pretty sure that will do it right there. Come up just a little bit. That should do it. That one was crazy, but right here I had I got, I got clear muskrat trail coming out. There's, there's a colony trap there. I see one right there. There's a bubble trail going this way. I think my other one. That colony trap was frozen. I see one in here also. But you see this bubble show, guys? It runs right along here. I don't have enough ice to do anything. Just, just to see the bubble, what the bubble is good for. Alright, let's get this guy out and then we'll probably locate it upstream. But I noticed, hey, we're going through here. And then I seen yesterday, yesterday I seen droppings on top of the ice here. So they're eating in this tube right here. Pretty good little location. The water's obviously really low. This was actually dried up at one point. Let's see what we got. Stay tuned. All right. I think we got two here. Oh, it's really frozen. We do have two, but we got a iceberg straight ahead. Two nice muskrats. I get that. Try to get that broken off of there. I need to put that back out. See what we got in this one. Paying off now, boys. I see one. This one's down a little deeper. And it's a smaller trap, a little bit. We got a double in here too? All right, we do. Two doubles. <laughs> that makes up for it, me and my 110 trapping. <laughs> Sweet. 
I'm gonna get some pictures real quick and then I'll I'll uh put a probably put a 110 there and then put a colony farther down on the trail there. They're obviously true cruising through here. Alright, stay tuned. Setting ready to go here. So a while back I was trapping that culvert and I had uh something take my calony trap down through the tube and I didn't know what was going on but turns out it's, it was probably that mink he grabbed my trap and drug it through and ate my muskrat all right let's get these reset here good looking rats they're not monsters but this here is a as you can see, it kind of moves around, but this is just a uh, collapsible colony trap. It's one of the smaller ones to get. I needed one for these shallow tubes and stuff. I'll put it right back in that little trail they got here. Right there, I believe. Make sure our doors work. All right. There we go. That one is ready to produce again. And this other one might not work anymore. Very hard on these things. God, it's very hard on a colony trap trying to do this. All I needed to get it off of the doors so the doors will open and close. The rest of that ice can stay on there. Pretty much got it now. This guy's got a little grab grip on the trap. Very good at that. That's probably their demise, actually. Biting down on the trap and can't get out. There we go. Alright, we're sort of back in business here. deep run where they clearly travel which looks right here <laughs> wow I don't think it's very deep though that's pretty obvious look at this run deeper not very much that is definitely where they're running though make sure your doors work is uh if they don't go up they ain't catching nothing so I can feel that run right there I'm gonna put this here as a deterrent and a marker I'm assuming there's still more in here I'm gonna check it out I'll go down there a ways and put one a 110 I think if I got one left I will okay so this spot I had the colony trap on the other side, some, something 
grab my muskrat and drug the colony trap all the way to this side. And I just happened to find it, luckily. I really thought it was gone at that point. So I'm gonna come in here and put, if I can get these in the bottom, oh yeah. Way easier than I thought, actually. <clears throat> I need to redo them. Way easier than I thought it would go in the bottom. It's all gravel, so I didn't think it was gonna go that easy. Come on. These are just one tin traps along private property here. So, get this guy in here. I want it just above that. See how that is. Oh, we got room to go down still. I went too far. I just want that trap to be just above that. So right there. So when that trap fires, it doesn't kick either way. It just it just fires right there when the muskrat goes through it, or the or the mink. I mean, if there's any left, I don't know. I just caught four on the other side, so that could be the end of them. But I doubt it. The mink is still here. I know he's traveling up and down this, so. We just need him to come through right here. So I got one trigger pointing inwards. I guess they're both gonna be pointing outwards, so no big deal. Sure, somebody's got a better system than that. Sure, I could probably use footholds here, but I'm not. We're just gonna put these in here and we'll get that make at some point here going through this. Try not to block our traps. Here we go. We're gonna see if we can get some bitch trying to jump through that hoop. We're trying to keep him from going this way and right here. We want him to only go through here. So there we go. See what happens. And we'll get him. Hopefully get a mink here. hooked on. Let's get that carp out of there. Look at that. What do you believe think about that? I didn't expect to catch a carp. <laughs> Throw them back, sort of. That's kind of weird. Freaking carp. 
This dude is hooked. There we got him. So basically, I just came down the way here. There's a right big old sucker. Along the way, there's a bubble trail running the street through here. Freaking carbs. I put this trap right in that run. Fill the bottom. You can fill. You can fill that little pivot that they, they make. With centered. There's a nice rat. He didn't make her to the other end. Pretty good size Missouri rat. I'm just going to reset. Put her right back where we had her. bottom just off the bottom so you you're still firing there's another rat sometimes your best sets don't produce but look at the size of that guy pretty nice rat Ice today, I believe we should. Oh yeah, another one, another one. Good rat. I ordered. Uh, I don't have very many colonies, so I I picked up five more. I think it was. I don't. I only have a few places to use them, so I don't. I don't need a whole lot, but picked up a few more. Get them out. I'll get them tomorrow. So, all right. So, all the way down to the bottom, right in front of the hole. The hole's about that big around. You want to be, you know, a little ways away from it, and then right on the bottom. Another rat. All we got here is a bank den because I could find the bubble trails leading into that bank and that's how I found it. So, another rat, guys. This is a good area here. I might have to put a colony trap here when I get one. Anything, you got anything? I don't. So maybe that mink coming along. Huh. A little bit of fur. That mink is stealing my stuff.
still set, but not ideal. The ice is messing with that one. But we'll get her melted off and we'll be working.